Hi, good morning. My name is Cheryl Baldwin, and I'm with the Connecticut Department of Energy and Environmental Protection, and I also run the What's In, What's Out program for the Recycle CT Foundation. So today for Tuesday Trash Talks at 10, we're just a little bit early, but it's almost 10, and we're going to be talking about spiral wound containers. So what the heck is spiral wound containers? I'll tell you. Spiral wound containers are basically a cardboard cylinder that usually has a metal or a plastic bottom on it. Often it also has a plastic or a metal rim around it, and sometimes there's even, you can see sort of a metallic insert or metallic paper on the inside. Sometimes it also has a plastic liner, mostly to preserve our food. These containers are mostly out. So the big thing to know is that most spiral containers are not acceptable in Connecticut's mixed recycling program. And we really want to try to make sure that they stay out because more than ever before, recycling matters because manufacturers are seeking our recyclables. They are having a very hard time getting access to materials and so we want to make sure that we're not only recycling in Connecticut, but that we're recycling right. So other types of spiral wound containers, you might find different baking soda. Again, it's got a plastic top and it's got a metal bottom. And if you want to recycle the lid separately, the lid is definitely acceptable. You might also find nuts or raisins or cocoa or other things like that might have spiral wound containers. These are all not acceptable. So um, other types of uh, materials that you might find is sometimes um, you might find oatmeal and I've even seen cornmeal in spiral wound containers but they're all cardboard. If you find that it's all cardboard then it's acceptable. I get my oatmeal, this I can put in the bin, however it still has a plastic rim. Traditionally I would say just go ahead and put this in the trash because we don't want to contaminate the load. However, if you're an Uber recycler, which I'm assuming you are because you are watching me this morning, you could remove this plastic, and if you remove it, then it is acceptable in the program. And if you don't feel like being an Uber recycler, because life is too tough, just put it in the trash for today. Other things that you might find that are similar are poster tubes, and sometimes poster tubes will have ends on them. Here's a great uh, example of a poster tube, and it's got plastic ends, but they pop off. Oh, wrong end. This one pops off pretty easy. If I wanted to, I could recycle this tube because I've taken off the, the tops, but as you can see, I'm still using it, so I'm going to hang on to it. However, there are other types of tubes. I got a really cool uh, water bottle, and uh, the water bottle came in this really cool tube. The entire thing is cardboard. It's all paper. There's no plastic. There's no metal. It's all cardboard. However, it's a really cool tube, so I'm going to save it for a craft project. So again, some tubes are acceptable, but most uh, spiral wound containers are not acceptable. So I thank you very much for uh, watching me today on Tuesday Trash Talks at 10, and I want to thank you very much for Recycling Right. It's really important right now that we get our good materials in our recycling bin for manufacturers. And of course, if you have any questions, feel free to add them in the comments section and I will get back to you. Or you can go to the RecycleCT.com and ask the RecycleCT wizard about what's in and what's out. Thank you very much for your time. Appreciate it.